Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a money clip system update. I will leave a link below to the video I did before about money clips. I use a version of the Dave Ramsey envelope system but with clips. Rachel Cruz, I will leave her information below as well. That's Dave Ramsey's daughter. She uses these little like binder clips and I use them too in my last video that is linked below for you guys. However, this is actually a really big clip. I had the tiniest clips that you could find and they are all gone now. So um, I'll explain why they're gone in just a moment, but let's walk into the wallet. This is my Michael Kors wallet. I will leave a link below if I can find this wallet. I know the pattern. This is kind of like a snakes, like a faux snakeskin pattern. Uh, it no longer exists, but the actual wallet style still does. So, because I got this a long time ago. But so here is my wallet and here is all my cash. So what I've been doing because I lost all of my clips and I'll explain how that happened in just a second. I have been using just some sticky notes and it says planning on this one. Like it's insane. Okay. So let me show you how I lost all of my clips. This seems like a really great idea in theory. However, when you have not that many like bills of cash, they just slip right off. So especially when you have, let's say like one, you know, like one actual bill, it can just pop right off super easy. So that was my problem and I had a few of them and then they all got lost. So this system does not work well for me. However, I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, all I really need is some paper clips because paper clips I think are a little bit easier. So here's all my cash, first of all, and like all my, like my four categories of things. So I'm gonna set this off to the side real quick. I found these at Staples and I thought that these would be a really great tool because essentially they are a paper clip with a little flag on them. The flag is a little tall for what I want it for, but I am going to make this work. So if you wanna see how I'm gonna modify my new cash clip system, stay tuned. Okay, so here's my little package. I'm just gonna open it up. I only really want four of these, but it, you know, they come in a pack of, there's what, 28 total clips. I couldn't find any smaller ones than this. There are other ones that you could have purchased that were like wider than this, and but I wanted a small, I wanted a small section if possible. So, and I'm actually gonna be trimming them anyway. Do, do, do. Oh, they come in like a little case, like a little acrylic case. Oh, isn't this just fancy like it stands up and everything oh that's really kind of cute <laughs> I guess you could probably like stand it up on your desk and then just like pull one out when you need it okay cool so I think what I'm going to do should I do one of every color hmm or should I do like all four the same color I think let's do like one of every color just for fun I wouldn't mind if they were all the same color okay so we got those out I'll leave that over here mm -hmm. So what I want to do, so say like this is my grocery money that I have left for the month. Um, so the nice thing is I want to be able to just clip it like this and then have it say grocery right here and then when I'm done it'll just kind of go back to where it was. Does that make sense? Like so it's not going to like fly off like this little guy was. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down because they're not gonna fit in my wallet. So if I clip this back on like this and then put it in my wallet, it could fit, but it's gonna be really tall. So I want it to make about half of the size that it currently is. So I'm gonna trim this guy down. And I'm actually gonna trim all of them down and then I will write on them just cause then I'll know like how much space I have and whatnot. So I'm just gonna take it and cut it right in half. And they don't need to be perfect, they just need to fit my wallet. 
I want to be able to close my wallet with ease. And then if you want to, you can actually round the corners a little bit. So I'm gonna do that right now as well. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's okay. All right, so now I am done with the rounding of the corners and the trimming them down. So to just show the difference, that's how long it is compared to my new one that I'm going to use. So put this little guy back and now I'm going to write on these what the categories are. I use this. Um, all of my writing utensils are always linked below for you guys. I know a lot of my plan with me people have questions on what pens or markers I'm using. There's always an Amazon link below for you guys. I actually post that in almost every single video that you see that I'm using, you know, my, my hands essentially. So, this is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker, and I am definitely team black. I know a lot of people are team blue, but I prefer black. I just like the way it looks a little bit better, but um, there is a link below if you are interested. So, okay, so my four categories are grocery, dining, clothing, and planning. All of the other things that I purchase I don't have a problem, you know, spending in those categories, if you will. So these are the ones that I like to personally control. I know that there's lots of other people that have only maybe two cash things that they use. Um, there's many people that have more than four that they'll have like 10 or 20 different categories of envelopes or cash clip systems that they use. My feeling is use it however it works for you and your life. For me, these are my four trigger points that I spend too much in. So if I control it with cash, it's a lot easier to see. Like literally my dining budget has $6 left in it. Like that's how much I have left until the end of the month. And that's okay. Um, but like clothing, I have some money in there because I didn't spend anything this month and I'm maybe gonna be waiting for some sales. I wanna save up for some other stuff. Like my planning budget is a little low right now because I just bought some stuff. Like, you know, you just gotta feel like what's good for you and what works for controlling your spending. So for me, I've been doing this for quite a while and these four categories are, like I said, the ones that just I spend the most in. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna be a little strategic about where I actually put these. Let's see. Maybe we'll do grocery as green. How about dining, clothing, planning? Let's go like that, planning. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, cool. All right, so let's hope I don't mess up too horribly on the writing situation. All right, so my grocery is done. There's my dining. Just gonna write clothes for short. And planning, that one was a little bit difficult to like put in there, but that's okay. All right. So let's take these little things off because I don't need them anymore, thank goodness. So, and the nice thing is that these have like a little thing on the back as well. So yeah, I don't know, I like these. I really like these a lot. So my grocery budget has the most like actual bills in it right now. And I feel like it feels like really nice in like on the money. Like I feel like it feels really nice in there. And actually something that I like to do is I like to kind of like put them in like file folders and I'll show you what that means in just a second. So let me get all of the clips on. So there's my dining. Oh, I love the way that looks. It looks so nice. Got my clothing. And then my last category is planning. Okay, so my planning is gonna go right there. I kind of put this in like order of importance or order of like how often I grab for that specific stack. So planning and clothes are the ones that I don't grab as often. See what I'm doing here? I'm kind of making little tabbies. And then the dining is kind of my second most used and the grocery is what I use the most. So now that's kind of what it all looks like. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. So now that's what it's gonna look like inside of my wallet with all my cash, and then it's got like the little little tabbies on the top. So let's take a look and see how it looks in my wallet. Okay, so here is the inside of my wallet. My cards are all covered up and I'm just gonna place these in here so you can see. And inside of here I can kind of like separate it a little bit more like, you know, 
Anyway, there's like spots for cash, but I have to fold them because of the way that the wallet style is. So yeah, that is how it looks in my wallet and I'm really, really excited about the way that this looks. So if you guys are interested in how much like dollar amount I put in all of my budget categories, feel free to click the link below. I will put in my Money Talk playlist, which has all of my budgets in there. Um, I do a budget every single month and I film it here on YouTube, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. And if you guys actually make these, feel free to tag me on Instagram, tweet me, all of my social media links are below. I would love to see your rendition of how you use this cash clip system. Like I said, these are from Staples. I will put a link below as well if I I can find them um, you know you will have to trim them down depending on your wallet style and size but I really like this system so much better than the other clips so then hopefully you won't lose them and the nice thing is there's more of these so if I do end up losing one for some reason or like a clip gets stretched out I can always just make another one it's no big deal so anyways this is gonna be it from me this was kind of just a short and sweet little video showing how I'm gonna update my cash clip system if you guys have any questions feel free to post them below and I will get back to you if you like this video or want to see more financial videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if it's your first time here feel free to subscribe even if it's your second or third time here and you haven't subscribed yet feel free. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new videos for you all. So I hope you guys enjoyed a peek inside of my financial wallet, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!